So it's been a few weeks now since the sheetrock fell and hit the car. I've ordered and received a new uh, buffing machine and I'm gonna try to buff the scuff marks out. But first, I'm gonna take off the tire and try to remove the wheel well liner and see if I can get to the underside of these dents and push them out. Okay, with the tire off, I've got the wheel well liner pulled mostly out of the way, and I was worried I wasn't going to have access to the underside of that dent. But anyway, so I can reach over this and find where my dent is, and I've been, actually been able to push it out, I think, a little bit just with my fingers. I think the, me the metal has a memory that it wants to go back to. There's still a little bit of a dent left, so what I'm doing is taking this screwdriver. It has a softer, plasticky, rubbery kind of a end on it and I'm going up and over inside here and finding where the dent is and pushing and prying down and just very slowly trying to to work the remainder the remaining bit of the dent out it's right in here is where the dent is now to try to buff this paint out. Uh, the car was washed recently. I am taking a very clean brand new microfiber towel and just making sure there's no dust or anything on it on this area that i'm going to be working on and uh then i have a uh, mcguire's ultimate compound that i'm going to be using to try to buff i'm using my new buffer with a slightly softer buffing pad to start with and we'll see if i get any kind of results with that if i don't i might switch to a slightly stiffer buffing pad but uh, anyway here we go I'm going to start off on the slowest setting and then I'll pick up pace as, as I need to. Compound's getting stretched a little thin, so I'm going to add some more. number two setting now. I'm not actually pushing down at all. I'm just letting the weight of the machine do the work. Um, I'm keeping my hands on here so I can guide it in a controlled fashion. I forgot to mention earlier, this is a dual action or random orbital um, buffer. So not only does the pad spin, but it also works its way around so it, it doesn't just burn one little spot if you accidentally left it in one spot for too long. some of this off and see if, if this is working. I can still see a little bit. Uh, I can see the little dented area too, right in there. But yeah, there was a little scuff mark right there. It took that out. There's a little scratch right there. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go over it one more time. But yeah, it's coming out pretty pretty well. There was actually a lot of scuff right along this ridge that's right here. And I'm really not seeing any of it anymore. Okay, so I've gone over this area where the dents are about three, maybe four times now. I also did a little bit over here onto the hood because there was a nasty white scuff mark that started right in this area and went over and a few inches onto the hood. So I have completely gotten rid of all of that. But for really and truly the first time I've ever tried to buff a car, I mean, I did work yesterday on my old PT Cruiser just to practice a little bit before I tried the Porsche. I think I've gotten pretty good results. 
Now I did not do this uh, gas door. And let me see if I can get to where, I don't know if you can see the superficial scratches on there, right in that area or not. So I did not do this, but when you come over here, you won't see anything like that in here. Now there are some deeper scratches and rock chips and things. There's a messed up little place in the paint. Here's some rock chips. There's a lot of chips on the hood. For now, just to get that sheetrock mess off the car and to eliminate a lot of little scratches, um, I'm very pleased with the, with the results. So if your car gets scratched by a house or anything else, I hope this video helps you out. Thanks for watching.